Join with me now in the time of prayer. Let's pray. God, our Creator, you've walked the Emmaus Road with your faithful people in many generations, people facing challenge and uncertainty, people seeking your purpose and promise. We thank you for your faithfulness to us in all situations. Walk with us and with those for whom we pray this day, that your grace and mercy may sustain our faith and hope. God, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for communities challenged by forces beyond their control, for the pandemic and the economic crisis it's creating for political strife. And we would pray that all those who make decisions, world leaders, the president, the governors, local leaders, people inside our own households, that we would seek your wisdom, God, that each of us would listen to you alone, and that we would act only in accordance with your will. We pray for our congregation, for our life together, and our future in mission. In a time when we cannot gather in person, sustain our fellowship and strengthen our prayers for one another so that you will find us faithful on our journey into the future. We pray specifically for the joys and concerns that are on our heart this morning. Lord, hear our prayers. Father, hear our spoken and unspoken prayers and use us in ways we may not yet even imagine to respond to those around us with the love and mercy we see in Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray in these words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Listen now to our scripture for this day, taken from the Gospel of Luke, the 24th chapter, beginning in verse 13. Now that same day, Two of them were going into a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, answered him, Are you only a visitor to Jerusalem and do not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things? he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but they didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but he they did not see. He said to them, How foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Christ have to suffer these things and enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus acted as if he were going further. But they urged him strongly, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening. The day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. 
and he disappeared from their sight. They ask each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned to Jerusalem at once. There they found the eleven and those with them assembled together and saying, It is true, the Lord has risen and appeared to Peter. Then the two told what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 